Welcome to Home Reviews. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at this Casa Brews Espresso Coffee Machine. So they were kind enough to send this to me so I can show you guys exactly what this product is, how it works. You can see here some of the functions and features of it, the accessories included, the product specifications. I'm gonna get this unboxed here in a minute. We're gonna get it set up and we're gonna make us some espresso and just see how well this works. So now at any time, if you would like to get more details about this Casa Brews espresso coffee machine or even pick up one for yourself or even someone for Christmas, then check out the link below this video. We got everything out of the box and one thing I love about this right off is that this is pretty small. So if you are limited on counter space, this may be ideal for you. So you can see here compared to my hand, the size of this. So it'll be able to fit on your counter much better than some of these larger espresso machines do. Here you have some accessories. You have some papers over here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this before we get this set up. And then the first use cycle. So you want to pay attention to this and make sure you follow this directions because uh, you want this to work right the first time. And this tells you here what to do the first time to get it set up right. Now here you can see how to make espresso. And then it looks like we have a lot more here. Preheat the brewing system, making espresso. It, everything is step by step with pictures, so very easy to follow. And then you also have your instruction manual here. So this here is the, it's the Espresso Coffee Machine Model 3700 Essential. So if you wanna look that up or just use the link under this video, it'll actually take you to Amazon where you can get more details about it. Know your coffee machine. So here you can see it all broke down and everything that's included with it. Here's your control panel and what each button's for. And then once again, before the first use, cleaning the appliance, initial use. Guys, make sure you go through the instructions and do all this before you use it. That way you know you're doing everything right. So here's preparing the espresso, making the espresso, frothing milk. So let's go ahead and get this plugged up on my island here and we'll see what we can do with it. Okay, so we got everything set up. I got my ground coffee set out here. Now you have a porta filter, and I'm gonna show you how to work this in a minute. It comes with two size filters, a double and a single. You also have a scoop, and this is the perfect size scoop you need to actually fill up that. And then it has a tamper on the bottom so you can kind of pat it down. And then I have two cups here. One of them has a little bit of coffee creamer in it, which I'm gonna to use to whip up into frothing. And then my cup here, which I'm gonna make the espresso in. Now, one thing I wanna mention before you get and use this is that on the back of it, you have a water tank. This water tank, you have to lift up. It comes up. The first time you take it off, it'll probably be difficult, at least mine was. I didn't even think that it came off cause it, it, it was uh, kind of difficult, but there's a red seal on the bottom you have to take off. Once that's done, just follow the directions, put water in here and run this through once. And then when that's done, you're ready to make some espresso. So on the front here, you have your power button. And then as long as these are blinking, that means it's preparing, it has to warm up. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this to the side cause I wanna show you over here. This is where you can get hot water from or also steam to make your froth. Up here, you'll find the knob to turn that on and off with. And you wanna make sure that if you only want hot water, then you can turn this on and you get hot water coming out of here. It sprays kind of hard, so be careful when it's very hot. But if you want steam to be able to froth your creamer or your milk, you have to select this button first and then turn this knob. And then that's gonna make steam come out of here so you can froth your uh, milk. And then down here, you can see where I didn't clean this up yet. Uh, this is where I just made one here just a little bit ago. Uh, but you do have a tray down here and this picks up so you can easily clean it. So you can take this out and wipe it down or wash it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this set up. So the first thing I wanna do is get my scoop here and we're gonna get a scoop of, I got this kind here, the espresso roast, the dark roast, because I think it has the most flavor. And then you're just gonna pour it in here. Kind of hard to do while holding my phone, but you're gonna do that and then you're just gonna kind of press down on a little bit. And you wanna make sure that you don't have any coffee grounds around the edges here, cause if you do, it's not gonna seal right. So you wanna make sure you take that off. 
Now this is going to go into your port of filter, just like that. And if you're always going to use a double instead of a single, you can just leave this in here and clean it out after you use it. But once you do that, this here is going to go right up underneath like that. And then you're going to turn it and you're going to feel it get a little bit tighter here. And then it kind of locks in place right there. And then when that's ready, you're just going to set your cup under here and we're going to do a double serving. So I'm going to hit two. And I love how fast this works. Right now we have a Keurig and it, it takes it a while to warm up and make uh, just a cup of coffee. But look how fast it makes this espresso. And there it is. And look how rich that looks. And it is too. It's very good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get creamer. Now the key to this is when you use this, you want the end of this here just touching the top of your creamer. If you have it too high, it's just going to make bubbles. It's not going to do anything. But if you stick this down in your creamer or your milk uh, too far, it's actually gonna make a really loud noise. So you wanna be careful with that and just make sure you only put the tip of this right inside your creamer and, and as it froths it and the froth gets higher, you're gonna to have to lower your cup more and more so it continues just touching the tip of that. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. This here you can adjust, so you can kind of pull it out a little bit or pull it forward to adjust for your cup. So what I'm gonna do is make sure I hit this button first and it's probably gonna blink cause this has to get hotter than these in order to make steam. So we're gonna give it just a second for that to finish and uh, tell us that it's ready, which it is right now. And then it's ready. So all we have to do to turn this on now is to twist this knob. So if we twist it, and right like that. I made a little bit of a mess from it because I'm trying to hold the phone while doing it too, but trust me, it's a lot easier if you got two hands. And then down here, you can see you now have our espresso, we have our creamer, and then if you want to, you can just pour that in there like that. And of course, you can froth it longer if you want it froth longer, it's up to you. And there is your espresso. Now for me, I used pumpkin spice uh, creamer in this and it smells amazing right now and then you're ready and that's it this is a great way to create your own drinks whether they're hot whether they're cold or whether they're iced it's completely up to you to make something that tastes amazing that's going to save you a whole lot of money whether you drive through and buy these types of coffees on your way to work or while you're out now you can just get them from your home and that's all there is to it, and it makes amazing espresso. So if you want to check this out for yourself, the link's below this video where you can get more details. But overall, I absolutely love this little espresso machine made by Casa Brews, and I'm sure you guys will too. That's it for this video, guys. Have a great day.